Stephen Mintz born 1953 is an American historian at the University of Texas at Austin. For five years, from 2012 through 2017, he served as executive director of the University of Texas Systems Institute for Transformational Learning. This institute is tasked with delivering a high-quality education that is more affordable and accessible across the system's 14 academic campuses and health science centers. He previously taught history at Oberlin College. University of Houston, and Columbia University, where he directed a graduate school of arts and sciences teaching center. He has also held visiting appointments at Pepperdine University and the University of Siegen in Germany, been a visiting scholar at the Minda D. Gunsberg Center for European Studies at Harvard University, and a fellow at the Center for Advanced Study in the Behavioral Sciences at Stanford University. In addition to a commitment to pedagogy, Interests on which he has published widely include the history of the American family and children, film and history, immigration and ethnic history. Life born into a Jewish family in Detroit, Michigan, he received his B.A. from Oberlin College 1973 and his M.A., M.Phil. and Ph.D. degrees from Yale University 1979. At Oberlin, where he wrote his senior thesis on the Harlem Renaissance novelist Jean Toomer, he was elected to Phi Beta Cap and graduated senior scholar in history. At Yale, he completed his dissertation, Studies in the Victorian Family, under the direction of David Bryant Davis. It was published as a prison of expectation, The Family in Victorian Culture in 1983. After serving as a visiting assistant professor of history at Oberlin College 1978-1980 he joined the history department at the University of Houston 1981-2007. He became the John and Rebecca Morse Professor of History and Director of the American Cultures Program, which offers comparative perspectives on the peoples and cultures of the Western Hemisphere. One in 1985 to 1986, he was a guest professor at University of Zeeland, and in 1989 to 1990, he was at Harvard's Minda D. Gunsberg Center for European Studies and also taught in Harvard Extension School. One in 2006 to 2007. He was a fellow at the Center for Advanced Study in the Behavioral Sciences at Stanford University. In addition, he taught summer courses at Pepperdine University 1994 and Summer Institutes for the Gilder Herman Institute of American History 1995-2000 for at Yale, Columbia, and Rice Universities on Slavery, Film History, and Digital History. He was named director of Columbia University's Graduate School of Arts and Sciences Teaching Center and a member of the History Department in 2008. In September 2012, he became the founding director of the University of Texas Systems Institute for Transformational Learning, which was established to promote the use of new technologies and active learning and inquiry, and project-based pedagogies to improve student learning outcomes, accelerate time to degree and foster innovation across the system's eight academic campuses and six health science centers. He also received tenure in the history department of the University of Texas at Austin. Three, he married Maria Elena Salino, a professor at the University of Houston and an authority on Spanish literature and film, in 2009. Scholarship Stephen Mintz presenting at the 2 Congreso de la Innovación Educativa at Tec de Monterrey. Campus Ciudad de Mexico, a cultural historian trained in the methods of the new social history. He is the author and editor of 14 history books, focusing on such topics as families and children, antebellum reform, slavery and anti-slavery, ethnicity, and film. His first book, The Prison of Expectations, The Family in Victorian Culture 1983 examined the psychological dynamics within a series of prominent literary families in Britain and the United States against a backdrop of broader cultural concerns about authority, discipline, and legitimacy. This volume, an early attempt to apply the concept of Victorianism to the study of mid-19th century American culture, also sought to explore the links between familial experience and literary expression and revealed how family conflicts involved religious and cultural tensions. His next book, Domestic Revolutions, A Social History of American Family Life 1988 co-authored with Susan Kerlog, was the first comprehensive history of the American family since 1917. Underscoring ethnic, class, and temporal diversity in family life, this volume identified a series of major shifts in family structure and composition, roles and functions, and emotional and power dynamics over the past three and a half centuries. 
according to NM Boylan colon for usable as a text in family history courses or indeed in any course on the family mints and catalogs work deserves to find readers in many quarters beyond the university classroom and should find its way onto the desks of policy makers scholarly and thoughtful the book cuts through much of the confusion and many of the assumptions that surround current debates on family policy and provides historical background essential for understanding recent developments his history of antebellum reform Moralists and Modernizers, America's Pre-Civil War Reformers 1995 Portrayed Reform as a Vehicle for Cultural and Institutional Modernization, The Definition of Middle Class Values and Identity, and the Moral Legitimization of New Ideas about Labor, Poverty, Deviance, and Disorder. The Boisterous Sea of Liberty, The Documentary History of America from Colonization to the Civil War 1998 co-authored with David Bryan Davis used primary source documents from the Gilder Herman collection to examine a role of race in early American history, politics, and culture, to trace the evolution of new conceptions of rights, including the notion of inalienable rights rooted in the laws of nature, minority rights, and the right to revolution, and the meanings, institutionalizations, and uses of power, including the invention of the people as a source of sovereign power, the growing power of public opinion, and the power of moral ideals. Mintz wrote the chapters covering the periods 1790 to 1860 and 1960 to the present in America and its People's Sixth Edition, 2006 a college textbook, and published a number of anthologies, including a collection of essays on film and history, volumes of annotated primary sources on slavery, Native American history, and Mexican American history, and a collection of original essays dealing with race, slavery and abolition and reform, entitled The Problem of Evil, Slavery, Freedom, and the Ambiguities of American Reform 2007 co-edited with John Stouffer. Huck's Raft 2004 His History of Children and Youth in America from the Colonial Era to the Present, examined childhood both as lived experience, shaped by such factors as class, ethnicity, gender, geographical region, and historical era, and as a cultural category imposed upon children. In addition to giving historical perspective to current psychological and legal thinking about childhood, the volume charted the evolution of public policy, tracing changes in ideas and practices involving adoption, child abuse and neglect, children's rights, disability, juvenile delinquency, schooling, and social welfare policies. Ant Lombard in the American Historical Review praised Huck's Raft colon 5 Stephen Mintz's impeccably researched, convincingly argued and wonderfully original synthesis of the monographic literature on childhood in American history is dot 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 one of those rare histories that both engages with academic historical scholarship in a serious way and speaks to real concerns of the American reading public. Full of fascinating information about the history of children in America, it also offers a major critique of the way our society constructs childhood. This book reminds us that history can teach important lessons about how we got to be the way we are and sometimes, even suggest what to do about it. The Prime of Life, A History of Modern Adulthood 2015 The New York Times Book Review Editor's Choice, explores how past generations navigated the transition to adulthood, achieved intimacy and connection, praised children, sought meaning in work, and responded to loss. In tracing the rise and fall of a set of norms and expectations surrounding adulthood, the book engages with a series of questions that have evoked a great deal of concern in recent years. Why it has grown harder to become an adult, whether intimate friendship is fraying in today's hyper-individualistic, highly mobile, work-centered society, why marriages are so difficult to sustain, why parenting is so anxiety-ridden, and why adult life seems so stressful when many of the physical hardships faced by earlier generations have faded. The past president of HNET Humanities and Social Sciences Online, he is the creator of the Digital History website, which was named one of the top five U.S. history websites by Best of History Websites and included on the NDH's excitement list of exemplary online resources in the humanities. He has also served as a consultant to the National Museum of American History, the Minnesota Historical Center, the New York Historical Society, the New Jersey Historical Society, and the Strong National Museum of Play the past president of the Society for the History of Children and Youth, 
He previously served as national co-chair of the Council on Contemporary Families 2004-2009 An organization of researchers and clinicians dedicated to enhancing the national conversation on the United States' diverse families. A board member of Film and History, the Gilder Herman Institute of American History, the Journal of Family Life, the Society for History Education, and Slavery and Abolition. He has also chaired the Organization of American Historians Teaching Committee 2007 to 2008 and served on the American Historical Association's Nominating Committee 2006 to 2008, and chaired the Organization of American Historians's Committee on Committees 2014 to 6 Awards 2005 The Organization of American Historians Earl Forty Award 2005 The Association of American Publishers RR. Hawkins Award 2005 The Texas Institute of Letters Harpy Collins Award Works The Prime of Life, A History of Modern Adulthood Harvard University Press 2004 ISBN 978-0674047679 Hux Raft, A History of American Childhood Harvard University Press 2004 ISBN 978-0674015081 James Kirby Martin, Randy W. Roberts, Stephen Mintz, James H. Jones, and Linda Oma Murray 2006. America and Its Peoples. Longman. ISBN 978-0321-16213-7. Stephen Mintz, Susan Kellogg 1989. Domestic Revolutions. The Social History of American Family Life. Simon and Schuster. ISBN 978-0-0-2-921-291-2. Moralists and Modernizers. America's Pre-Civil War Reformers. J.H.U. Press. 1995. ISBN 978-0-8018-5081-3. Stephen Mintz. Mintz, Stephen 1983. The Prison of Expectation, The Family in Victorian Culture. ISBN 978-0-8147-5388-0. Edited Stephen Mintz, Ram D. W. Roberts, eds. 2010. Hollywood's America, United States History Through Its Films. Wiley Blackwell. ISBN 978-1881089681. Stephen Mintz. John Stouffer, E.D.S. 2007. The Problem of Evil, Slavery, Freedom, and the Ambiguities of American Reform. University of Massachusetts Press. ISBN 978-155849-578. David Ryan Davis, Stephen Mintz, E.D.S. 2000. The Boisterous Sea of Liberty, The Documentary History of America from Discovery Through the Civil War. Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-19511670. Stephen Mintz, Education 2009. Mexican American Voices, The Documentary Reader. Wiley Blackwell. ISBN 978-1-4051-8267. Stephen Mintz, Education 2000. Native American Voices, A History and Anthology. Brandy Wine Press. ISBN 978-1881089599. Stephen Mintz, Education 2009. African American Voices, The Documentary Reader, 1619-1877. Wiley Blackwell. ISBN 978-1451-8268-3. Stephen Mintz, Education 2002. A History of Us. Sourcebook and Index, Documents that Shaped the American Nation. Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-19-515348. Stephen Mintz, John Etling, eds. 1989. Critical Issues in American History. Kendall Hunt. ISBN 978-0-8403-5468-6. Scholarly Articles Reflections on Age as a Category of Historical Analysis The Journal of the History of Childhood and Youth 1.1-2008-91-94 Known like me excerpt Children, Families and the State, American Family Law in Historical Perspective 
Denver University Law Review 69 1992635661. Online Regulating the American Family. Journal of Family History 14.4 1989 387408.